I just want to jump in here today because I got this same question that I get probably at least once a month. And it's kind of a misconception about ClickFunnels. And that is the whole idea that in order to build a membership site that you have to be on, they say the $300 plan here or the 297 plan. And that is absolutely not true. You can do everything I'm going to show you here on the $97 a month plan. And I look at people all the time and I say, okay, why are you going to places like um, Thinkific and, um, oh, I'm drawing a blank and all the rest of them, Teachable, Kajabi, et cetera, et cetera. Why do you go to them when they all look exactly the same? So first off, like I said, 97 bucks, click funnel plan. You can do everything I'm about to show you here. So why spend the money for these other platforms? Because here I got one that is built on, well, this one's on teachable. And so you got your left sidebar, you got your content. You're going to see as I go along here, they all pretty much look exactly the same. They just kind of flip flop things. This one here is built on drop funnels, which is a WordPress uh, site built on WordPress. Here's another one from Todd Brown. This was also built on WordPress, but over here they have the content on the right. I'm sorry, the content on the left and the nav bar on the right. Here's one that is built into Members Pro. Again, same kind of setup. You got your navigation, you got your video. This one is Groove Funnels, some old training that they had. I think this is also built on WordPress, but I'm not sure. And then this morning, somebody uh, told me about this new one called Voomly. So I guess you got Zoom, you got Loom, and now we got Voom. And so we got Voomly here. And again, so they got their navigation on the right and their content on the left. And so it's all just a variation on the same theme. And for the most part, there's really no way to come in and spice these up at all. And so here inside of this is one of my training programs right here. Actually, this is the Membership Ninjas training program right here. And what this is, is just, again, your standard basic, what most people think of as a ClickFunnels membership site. You got your nav on the left here. And so, you know, I did a little bit of coloration, didn't do anything really special with this one. But I just want to show you a couple examples of things that you can done and can done, can do and have I have done over the last couple of years. And then now working with the members in my membership ninjas, I mean, they're just throwing ideas at me constantly, constantly, constantly. And I'm just building like crazy right now. And so here's one where I just used these icons at the top up here for navigation. And you can go through the navigation and you click on this and you see as it does it, it changes out all the content. Then of course, along the right-hand side here, I do have a bit of navigation. You can click on that go back and forth between different lessons, have it pop up as a, as a video modal at that point. And so that's a, that was a pretty cool build there. I did that a couple of years ago. And here's one I did for the guys over at Kidpreneurs, never ended up using it. But what I did is I took an image on the left here. And as you click on the image, you will see that the content over here on the right hand side changes out. And then also over here on the lessons, as you click on the lessons, that will change out the lessons down here as well. So you can basically, this is your sections and this is your lessons over here. But again, it doesn't exactly look like anything you've seen anywhere before. This one here I call the insider. And what this is, is these are five different courses built into a single membership site. And as I click on this course, what it's going to do is it's going to open up all the lessons for that particular course course. So again, think in terms of anything else you've seen where you got your content and then you got your little nav bar on the left-hand side where you got your five or six lessons, like, you know, something like a member's pro, something like that. But in this case here, we used images as the background for each one of the lessons. Each one of these lesson titles, of course, would be different. I just put them all in there because everything you're going to see here is just me building stuff, testing stuff, and then giving it out to my members, giving it out to my clients for them. And then we, you know, we set it up, we go live at that point. But this is just me testing the proof of concept to make sure that the stuff works. So if you come into your lesson here and you click on it, then we can scroll down and we can see all of the content inside of the lesson at the bottom here. And I just noticed there's actually a section, small section in here missing. 
So I wonder where that went to. Well, I'll have to go find that sometime. And so as you click on this, the lessons change out. But again, I didn't put in a lot of lessons. And again, you can come back up to the top, click on another course. In this case here, this course has three lessons and you would just click between them like that. Now, this one here, of course, is Funnel Flex. I think a lot of people have seen this one. And uh, so all I did is I took what Russell had his guys build in WordPress for their Funnel Flex. And I said, well, why don't I just build this in ClickFunnels, which I did. And so you can just click on any one of these lessons. You can go to the course. You can see the lessons. You've got your breadcrumbs here at the top. You can go back and forth, do all that kind of stuff. And um, so it all works the same. And the other thing here is you can, from this platform, of course, or from any of them, you could do it from here, you could do it from here, any of these, you can go to other ClickFunnels membership sites and have a single login. We, uh, we built that one out a couple of weeks ago. I'll show that to you here. So yeah, now we can just, anybody can come in, log in one time, choose their course, choose their membership, whatever you want to call it. And then boom, they just click on it and you just go seamlessly right into the next one every single time. And then here's one I built. Uh, some guys wanted one that was basically a Kajabi clone, but there's a couple of nice things about this because again, we're using built in click funnels, uh, functionality is we can have the sidebar over here that can actually open and close. Whereas with Kajabi, you could have like a thousand lessons over here and you can't close anything, which I didn't really like that too much. You got your previous next buttons right here. And I put a little thing here so they can put in a drop down for, because they wanted to be able to have people download files. And so we put that right there is that uh, that's what the, uh, the member wanted me to build. Here's basically a clone of the ClickFunnels uh, login page. When you're logging into your ClickFunnels account, this is essentially it. You, uh, um, they've changed this some since I built this for a client a, a couple months ago. But um, it's same basic design still. And what would happen is when somebody comes in here, if they are just... Um, they're thinking here, if they're just signing up, they won't see basically the advertisement over here on the right-hand side. They'll only see where you sign up. Every time when they come in then to log in, that's when they're going to see the promotional items, the marketing going on over here on the right-hand side. And then here's one, I'm uh, calling this one Houdini because uh, actually there's two different versions of it. In this first version, what you're going to see is you have, of course, all these different images here at the top. And then you have your content down here at the bottom. Got a picture of one of my mentors, Dan Kennedy, and a little uh, content here next to it. And so as you click on each one of these, it's going to bring up a new lesson. But these are just individual lessons at this point here. So anyone we click on scrolls you to the bottom and you just see that individual lesson. And so I didn't really like it that you were limited to only basically however many lessons you could put here as images on your page. And after a while, it starts getting pretty big. So I thought, well, what do we need to do is actually have each one of these be essentially a course. And then as you come down, we're going to see here, we have the Dan Kennedy collection as a course with multiple different trainings inside of that. And each one of these we click on, it would be exactly the same thing. And of course, you can style this to look any way you want. You don't have to have this big sploosh of red up here. And you can make the colors on this and the hover and everything you want look exactly like you want. Because that's the one thing I love about ClickFunnels is, in my mind, I've been saying this for a long time, is that it is infinitely extendable. You can basically take these membership sites or any site really within ClickFunnels and in the case of like this page right here, very limited code. I'm not kidding you when I tell you, I'm pretty sure there's 22 lines, 22 total lines of JavaScript code. And at least five or six of them is, is what makes it go scroll down to the bottom. So it's really not that terribly difficult once you get the concepts down and you understand the basic structure of ClickFunnels, you can learn how to build this stuff. So let me see what else I had open here. Oh, this was one, again, we built just last week. So, so this one I built last week and this one I built in the last week or so. Well, I originally built it for a client, then I rebuilt it. Um, so... So like, where, where am I here? Okay, so yeah, so this one I built in the last two weeks. And so this was what you would use for a challenge funnel. 
again, a member came to me and said, Hey, this is what I want to do. And so I figured out a way of what we could do is when somebody starts the challenge, they'll be here. It'll be on day one. And when they get to day seven, in this case here, this person's on day seven, it will show day seven and it will show the content right here for day seven. And so we thought that was pretty cool that every single day, they're not going to come in and see all the content. All they're going to see is the content for that individual day. That is it. Now, if you want, you can also put in here um, a whole bunch of lessons and you can show them. So again, this person's on day seven. Um, you, you know, you can make available to them day one through six, or you can just say, Hey, I'm sorry, you get your day. That's it. You come in, you only see your day and that's all you're going to get. So either way you can set it up and, um, and it, it's going to work great either way. They're working on building it out right now. And of course, because they're my students, I'm jumping in there and helping them along the way. Now, this is the one I said earlier that we built where you can have multiple memberships with a single login and you probably can't see it on the page, but this one here is grayscale. And so are these two at the bottom. And what that means here is, <clears throat> excuse me, is that the person does not have access to these two right here. So, I mean, sorry, these three that are grayed out. So let me click on that. And if I'm grayed out, then it will send me somewhere. In this case, I just have it linking to Google, but you could have it linked to a sales page. You could have a link to a webinar. You could have it linked to wherever you wanted. But in the case right here, where we have a course that this person who logged in is eligible for that they have access to. We're going to come here and it's running a little bit slow. And um, that square thing has been happening a lot in ClickFunnels lately. I don't know why that does that at first, but then we come right here, logs us into this area. We'll click that off. And then what we can do is there's two different ways to set this up where you can just log them out or you can send them back to the dashboard. The way I have it coded right now in um, e either one I would have clicked, we'll bring them right back here to the dashboard. So you can just go boom, boom, back and forth between the dashboard and any membership area that the person is eligible to be able to see. And then, um, oh, this one here, again, I built this out for Jonathan the last week, another member in the course. And what he wanted was to be able to put in a first name field into an access page. So now at this point, you can put in, you know, first name, last name, any field you want, including a custom field inside of ClickFunnels, you can just drop those in here now. And when you click on create your account, not only is it going to create the membership site account, it will actually create the account, the total, the contact, I should say, inside of ClickFunnels and store their email address and now their first name along with, of course, their password. So that is, a, whew, that's a lot of stuff that we've been working on inside of there lately. And, and it is really a collaboration. I mean, so far it's pretty much just beta testers in there. I'll be opening up the card again in a couple of weeks now, but it's just, I mean, we're really all working together going, how can we solve this problem? How can we solve that problem? And it's really a give and take, and I'm really enjoying it a lot. We're doing twice a week coaching calls, and every one, I think the shortest one we've had so far has been an hour and a half. And um, a lot of times after we're even done with that, I jump on with other members and help them finish up or build out or fix any issues that they have going on. So I'm actually really enjoying it a lot. I was, I was concerned at first, uh, but now I'm, I'm really, really liking it. And so what I want to do is every Friday, just kind of come in and you know, give you guys a little bit of update of what's going on and that kind of stuff. So as always, if you got any kind of questions, just reach out and let me know. Y'all have a good day. And like I said, any questions, just let me know.